Hello everybody and welcome back to Rainbow Crafts. My name is Colton and today we will be making for you a soap inspired by the Selena song Como La Flor and by her outfit that she wore in her Houston Astrodome performance. So stay tuned if you want to see this really amazing soap inspired by Selena. Alrighty, let's make this soap inspired Selena's performance at the Houston Astrodome. This soap, just like all of our others, will start out by blending our lye water, which is at about 110 degrees, with our signature plant-based oil blend. And as always, that oil blend is down in the description box below for you to use if you do make soap. Um, we want to share that with everyone. We did spend quite a long time initially when we started Rainbow Crafts making our own custom oil blend that was palm oil free. So most of our soaps use that recipe. We do have a couple that are coconut oil free and those do have some palm oil in there to replace what that coconut oil um, brings to bars of soap. After we blitz all of that up, we will strain in our custom fragrance. This has some agave bloom and some jasmine dreams to give you kind of a floral, very pretty, very delicate fragrance blend. And also in that is some of our rose clay instead of kale and clay because we wanted this soap to look like Selena's costume at her performance at the Houston Astrodome, which is also why our micas that I'm adding there are um, that rose color as well. It's a nice kind of maroon mica with a little bit of ultra sparkle copper mica, I believe, because the costume is very like bedazzled and we wanted to reflect that in what the soap looked like at the end, basically. This soap bar, the design at least, is pretty straightforward. It is one solid color, but the outfit was one solid color and then the sparkles kind of added a little something extra and we are doing a little something to the top as well. Each of the soaps for the month of May that we're doing and April for that fact are inspired by a musical diva or divas um, so we have a couple duets in here as well and so this was inspired by a costume some of our designs were inspired by the album cover or by something that happened in the music video once all of our soap batter is at a good light trace we will put all of the soap batter into our slab mold there. We don't need to save any behind. We will be doing a mica drizzle, but we won't be doing anything more with the soap batter. We are done. And then this is pretty loose still, so I don't really have to level it off too much, but I did just pat everything down to make it as even as possible. And then in this little container, I have some silver mica in with a little of uh, the oil, it's just canola oil, that we use. And I'm doing a cross design, a cross hatch design. This design was inspired again by the outfit because the top is like crossed, um, like an X, but it wasn't silver, it was that red color, but the sparkles looked silver. So that's why this soap is the way it is. And then we do a little pivot on the fly here. So I wasn't super happy with the mica drizzle. So I tried to save it by kind of swooping it all along. Then I thought it looked like the Spider-Man costume. So I am in my mind as I'm making this, I'm thinking what else can we do to kind of save it um, and make it look a little prettier and a little less like Spider-Man. So I thought let's do some little kind of curly cues throughout the soap batter and I think this worked really well. It kind of looks like like a gothic design on the top and I really liked that, especially with this fragrance oil in particular. And then we are not done yet, so we are going to be adding in some eco glitter to the top of this again to really hit home the very vivid very upfront like bedazzled look of the outfit 
And so this is just some uh, holographic eco glitter that dissolves in water, which is amazing. And we're just sprinkling that over the whole top of this soap bar, more than you think you need, because if you've watched um, a couple of our most recent videos, you'll have noticed that any sort of embeds fall off. Um, I think the Shooting Star soap that we made for the month of March, I mentioned that in the video and I'll put a card up in the corner there. We will not spritz this with rubbing alcohol because rubbing alcohol and water start dissolving that eco glitter and we don't want that to happen. This soap was really well behaved so I didn't really need any rubbing alcohol or even to steam it, which was great. We will start breaking down that slab and you will see I put a toothpick in and that's just uh, in the corner and that's just to make sure I am slicing it the correct way especially for these soaps where it's not clear what the front and the like side is to do something like that to notate front to back instead of side to side. We had a really fun time designing all of these soaps. We couldn't decide on just six for one month, so this is actually a two month collection. There will be volume one, which is this collection, and volume two, which is May's collection. Volume one is a little more kind of spicy and fiery, and then volume two is a little more mellow and subdued. And you can see that nice, really pretty red tone and then that silver on the top. You can't see it with these lights, but you can see some of that ultra sparkle mica, which is a really nice effect, especially once the soap cures a little bit, it makes it even more visible. One thing to note about doing a mica drizzle is sometimes you can overdo it. So you'll see some little silver fingerprints from where I did a little too much, especially in the corners where it pooled. So if you're doing a mica drizzle, just be careful how much you're actually adding because you don't want it to just be like gloopy all over the place. But that is it. That is our Como La Flor soap inspired by Selena and her performance at the Houston Astrodome. If you want to grab this, it will be for sale April 1st online or in person. So definitely stop by and grab this or check out our website if you want to get a couple bars for yourself. Another way to support Rainbow Crafts is by joining our subscription service. We do have a Soap of the Month Club and also a Candle of the Month Club. So if you want a Rainbow Crafts product sent directly to your house every single month, check out our website, rainbowcrafts.com, for more details. We appreciate each and every one of our subscribers here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like this video, and comment below your favorite diva. Thanks.